Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This or Press That. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. And today we're going to talk about Twitter, uh, WordPress and Twitter to be exact. This comes from uh, our friend Bill Denon. Yes. Uh, over, uh, over on Twitter, of course. The other day he was asking about uh, which tools, which Twitter tools are the best mm -hmm. uh, for WordPress. Sure. Um, so we uh, scurried a little bit and did a <laughs> short review of a couple plugins. Yeah, so and, and before, we, before we start that, I guess we can maybe talk about uh, with the recent WordPress update 3.4, um, you now have access to Twitter embeds right from just the normal page editor, post editor of WordPress. So all you have to do to do that is basically copy the URL link. I'm actually going to do this while you're talking, oh, just, awesome. so I can, just so I can see what it's like. Awesome. Uh, so you basically go to your Twitter page, you click on your URL, which you can only get, we found, uh, if it's a standard post. So if you're using a third party app like an Instagram, it will not work. But you'll copy the URL from your Twitter post, and you just paste it on its own separate line within a WordPress page or, or post edit. And once you preview it or save it or publish it, it'll yeah, be there. So I, all I have to do is find this little expand icon or little expand link yep. below my tweet. Expand that. That'll open it up, uh, and I'll hit details. That'll bring me to the individual tweet right. URL. Because that's going to be the URL for that individual tweet as opposed yep. to your, just your Twitter page. Yep. I'll go ahead and I'll grab that URL and go ahead and paste it mm -hmm. uh, right into my WordPress blog post. It's as easy mm -hmm. as that. Um, and through the magic of, <laughs> of, Word, of, of WordPress. WordPress uh, our tweet has been embedded into the post, which is great. Awesome. You got it. All right, so let's get into the two plugins that we're, sure. we're going to review today. Um, we're going to look at Twitter tools versus... Uh, WP to Twitter. WP to Twitter. Um, Twitter tools comes from Alex King of a plugin favorite called Crowd Favorite. They have, I believe, on the repository about 39 plugins at this wow. point. Very nice. Uh, so quite a few. Nice. Um, and then WP to Twitter is created by Joe Dolson. Nice. All right. So again, when you're choosing plugins, always great to find a good author, a good developer, yes. uh, somebody who's supporting it. And, and these guys look to be uh, supporting good. their plugins yeah. <laughs> really well. Awesome. Actually, uh, it's funny. We're noticing a trend. Uh, updates for both today as well. Awesome. We're not, look, we're not lying here, folks. Yeah, yeah. We're not lying. Um, all right. So let's take a look. At, I'm going to take a look at Twitter tools. Yeah, why don't you go first? On my, you know, it's funny because on my own blog, I, don't, I never use any integrated Twitter stuff. I'm that kind of guy who... Uh, you know, putting a lot of effort into my blog post, so I'm going to work on that, and then I'm going to go promote it afterwards. Right. So you know, your promotion I've is bet, separate from your right. content. I've got creation. these different systems. You know, really mm -hmm. masochist. You know, I just yeah. like this. <laughs> well, here's what I want to do. Um, but I, I really do like this plugin, and I actually think I might switch to it on my own blog, uh, uh, Twitter Tools. Um, one because it gives you that level of control right. uh, that I like. I don't have to post every blog post to Twitter. It's not going to be automatic. Right. Um, I can set it up that way if I want. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can actually press the button if I really want this to go to Twitter right now. Um, I can, you know, I can press the button and have it tweet out. Right from post creation, there's a sidebar that allows you to put hashtags in and decide if you want your blog post to be tweeted as well. Yep. Um, you know, so uh, being able to choose uh, when I tweet is is important for me. Um, I can actually choose what kind of article I wanna I want to tweet. Uh, so if I want just blog posts, I can do that. If I have custom post types for pages, I can do that. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, I can set up automatic hashtags, which is which is great. Yeah. Um, so every time if I you know forget to put a hashtag in, it's going to automatically do that yeah. for me. Uh, integrate with Bitly, you know, which is great. So if always, I'm tracking, always a good thing. Yeah. If I'm tracking my URLs um, yeah. or if I have a pro account, I can you know see all the analytics on on links that people have right. clicked. Uh, so and the last thing was. Uh, I can actually the reverse. You yeah. can actually create a blog post for each tweet yeah. um, that I make. So it kind of just looks at what you tweet, goes back to WordPress, creates a post. Don't know what I'd use that for. Uh, maybe some kind of cool community site. Um, if you sure. had a bunch of users yeah. uh, with a certain hashtag you wanted mm -hmm. to collect to make a, a Twitter wall of sure. people, that'd be kind of yeah, cool. Right. Uh, but no, Twitter Tools is really, really cool. I really like it. Um, you know, I'm actually going to think about you know switching it to putting it on my own blog. I think it's really great. Yeah, it's it's an awesome, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome plugin, uh, especially for free. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to talk about WP to Twitter, which is the other side of this. Um, so most of the elements that Matt mentioned are present in this this plugin as well, mm -hmm. with the exception of the ability to tweet from your WordPress site. Oh, that's right. Which I think you mentioned. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't mention So that. with Twitter tools as well, you can actually post a tweet from WordPress. So just for consolidating your pages so you're not like us and you have like 17 tabs open at once at, yeah. at all times on, on your on your web browser, yep. you can actually post to Twitter right from your WordPress, right where the uh, the post section is. We're mm -hmm. adding posts. There's a Twitter post section now too. 
Um, that's not offered with WP to Twitter, but everything else that you mentioned mm -hmm. uh, is, mm -hmm. as well as the Bitly support. Um, it also supports Super and uh, your LS, which are a couple other uh, different versions of mm -hmm. the same sort of thing with SEO mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, segment post types as well. So mm -hmm. if you want to have a certain section, like if I'm writing a blog and I do movie reviews and music reviews, I can have a certain Twitter section for music reviews and a certain Twitter section for uh, movie reviews. Yeah, this is one of the things I, re I actually really liked about this this plugin. It is a little little convoluted in in the settings page. Yeah, the the overall settings are it's it's all over the place. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not uh, it's not the cleanest UI, but it, it is super powerful. You mm -hmm. can do things uh, like segment your tweets for yep. each individual uh, custom post type. Sure. And you can actually apply different hashtags mm -hmm. and, and, and different uh, titles to each tweet that goes out for yep. that piece of content. Mm -hmm. So if you have a large uh, you know, media site or community blogging site, each individual piece of content can mm -hmm. get that special tweet, which is, which is really awesome. powerful. And then you keep talking about the community feel. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really wanted to bring up another feature of WP to Twitter, which is um, being able to update to Twitter your comments. Yep. So if somebody goes on your blog, or your website and, and post a comment under something that was originally posted, it'll post that to Twitter as well. So just to kind of bring that community feel full circle. Yeah, which is nice. that that's really interesting too because then when somebody, you know, if you if you're trying to drive traffic, which yeah. a lot of bloggers are for WordPress, yeah. that's a great way to just you know you can use Discuss, you can use uh, Live Fire or something like that. Yeah. I think is the other one. Um, but this is cool because now it'll go out and tweet that says, "Hey, I got a new comment at my yeah. at my blog. Go check it out." So it's a great way for tra driving traffic and getting more people to look at your site. Easy peasy. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that both of these are free uh, plugins from the repository. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an option to go pro with WP to Twitter. Okay. And what that basically gives you is sort of Hootsuite like options with okay. regards to scheduling your tweets and stuff like that. Yeah. Which you can do actually right from the uh, right from your WordPress at that point too. Yeah. Through the plugin. Yeah. I also see that this plugin integrates with Google Analytics. Yes. Um, so I mean. What it's kind of breaking down to breaking down for to me is this is a much more advanced Twitter plugin. Yeah, uh, I'm sure with the Pro package you're going to get a lot more. Yeah, so it's it's mostly uh, from what I've seen mostly scheduling and yeah. different things like that, different ways to manage your tweets in a more mm -hmm. custom way. Yeah, so if you're looking to start sending your blog post to Twitter, mm -hmm. I'd say Twitter. You know, today I'd say Twitter Tools is probably the best bet. Super fast, yeah. super easy to set up. Yeah. Uh, but if you're uh, a heavy internet marketer or you have business. a team yeah, or a business uh, or you have a lot of articles that you're publishing mm -hmm. to the web and you want to track all those analytics, yeah. uh, you know, I think uh, WP to Twitter is where it's at for that. Yeah, it certainly is. So, right. so as far as... Is there is there a winner this week? I don't know if we have a winner this week. Uh, we're trying to get winners every week at uh, press this, press that. Um, but I think it's again, I think it's you know two different sides of the coin. Yeah, I think it really is. Yeah, I think if you want to get up and running fast and start putting your posts to Twitter, uh, WP uh, Twitter Tools is the one to go with. If you're looking for something much more advanced, uh, WP to Twitter is definitely where it's at. Ditto. All right. Well, thanks for another uh, wrapping up another episode with us. You can subscribe to our email list over at slocumstudio.com to mm -hmm. get uh, you know notified when new releases come out, new videos come out. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys.